Today's build is how to make this hand tool storage rack shelf. This makes a great beginner project to practice some basic techniques and end up with a nice functional tool storage solution. I've got a six inch wide piece of pine. I'm gonna go about 40 inches for my top shelf, 20 inches for both of the sides, and around 36 inches will get both of the cross rails. I lock this in the vise, grab my crosscut saw, and get to work. To finish the cut, I tilt it up and finish sawing. After having done a couple of hardwood projects, I really enjoy using this pine. These boards are all about an inch and a quarter thick, got a really good deal on them, a little over a dollar per board foot. So I am going to thickness these down to a little under an inch. Once I've got these boards to about 7 eighths of an inch thick, put a little paraffin wax on my plane and I'm just going to clean all these boards up a little bit. I'm going to square off all the edges on my shooting board so that I can start laying out for some joinery. The dados are going to start two inches in from each end of the shelf. I'll set the gauge to a quarter of an inch and that will mark the floor of the dado. I'm going to show the two methods I use to make a dado. The first method is just using a chisel, which is my preferred method. The second method is using a dado plane. I only have one dado plane and it's 3 eighths of an inch, which will cut any size dado 3 eighths of an inch or larger. I set the depth stop just shy of final depth. With either method, I set my board in and mark the other side of the dado. If the holdfast makes the stop block slip, then I adjust the board with light taps so that it lines up correctly. Then with either method, I remove the center waste that remains with a sharp chisel. I alternate going bevel up and bevel down with the chisel. Bevel down is a little bit of a safer cut to avoid gouging too deep. Then I take it to final depth with a router plane. I test fit both sides and do a quick check for square. To shape the side profile, I'm putting one mark four inches from the top, a second mark six inches from the bottom, and two and a half inches from the back, then drawing an arc between those two points. Next, I'll just take a coping saw and rough out that shape. This felt a little bit cramped, so I went ahead and finished that off with a rip saw. And I'm going to clean that up with a round bottom spoke shave. When the first side is done, I use that as a template for the other side. On the second side, I use the bow saw. The bow saw was faster, easier, but a little bit bumpy, so I clean off some of those bumps with a chisel before going with my spoke shave.
Finally, I gang the two sides up, clamp them down and plane them together just to get the two sides symmetrical. For the cross rails, I want to capture the exact distance in between the two dados. Instead of cutting right on that line, I'm going to cut off to the side a little bit. That way I can plane it down exactly to that knife line. These cross rails are just going to be butt joints that fit exactly between the two sides. But you could totally get fancy with these cross rails and do a half dovetail like in my step stool build or even an under the dado mortise and tenon like in one of my bookcases. I'm going to toss a little bit of glue in the dado and stick the two sides in. The upper cross rail is going to be attached to the top. This will add support and prevent the top from sagging. going with two inch screws through the top into that upper support rail. Also going to stick two inch screws through the sides and into both cross rails. This is a half inch diameter oak dowel and I'm going to cut two and a half inch long pegs out of it. Not gonna lie, I'm actually really gonna miss this old tool rack. I've had some good times with that nailed up 2x4, but I'm just at a point where I need better efficiency and access to my tools, and this is gonna be a good first step in that direction. I level it, and then just attach it to the studs. To attach the pegs, I hold the saw where I want it, put a mark, and then I take a Phillips head screwdriver to put a starter hole, and then I drill. I stopped just before going all the way through that piece of wood. A little bit of glue on the dowel, and then I stick it in. I find exactly where I want my other tools to hang, and drive a nail.